Thank you so much, Wanda. That was lovely. I just want to everyone to take a look at the discs. I would welcome any other comments if anybody wanted to say anything. Noel? Mr. Cordova is a trustee from the Noon Foundation. De Cordova. De, de Cordova, I'm sorry. Right. You're correct me. Um, and the Noon Foundation is one of our funders and has been a supporter of the walkway for quite a few years. And Noel, I'll just hand you the microphone. Thank you. Um, I didn't make this uh, uh, award ceremony for, for Rob Dyson the last time you got together. Uh, which I was sorry about, but uh, my wife had to go in for a little surgery, which is number 35, so that's a long experience. In any event, my family goes back a long ways. I, my, my maternal grandparents, uh, grandma, uh, grandfather came from a little town in Germany and near, near Kaiserslautern, and uh, along with his... Uh, other, it, it, his sister came over too. My grandfather went to uh, Riverview Military Academy, which is where the old ball field is down here on Lincoln Avenue. And his sister was sent to uh, uh, Vassar College, a class of 93. So we've been around here a long time. Eighteen ninety three. <laughs> so, uh, my wife also went there, but it wasn't quite that early. <laughs> but um, my grandfather was an engineer. He came up from, from my and my father was born in the Jamaica, British West Indies, and uh, came up here in the uh, early part of the nineteenth century, the uh, twentieth century, and. Um, uh, he did re reasonably well. He owned the farm that IBM now sits on, down on the South Road, and uh, which was called Rudco Road those days, not not the uh, current IBM Road. And um, it, they did very well. My my oldest uncle went to uh, McGill and served in the Canadian Army in World War One. My other uncle uh, uh, served in the uh, Lancashire Fusiliers in, uh, the, in the UK and went to um, Hamilton College. My father went to Amherst and uh, all had successful careers and uh, were good citizens. So then he left me. Uh, and my brother, uh, we were the only heirs of all those people. But you know, it's interesting, my grandfather lived in a house on the South Road, on the river. And um, it was built in 1640. And it was the house uh, that a farm family owned. And uh, that was in the middle of the Revolutionary War, or shortly thereafter. And um, they had a, a, a black woman living there <coughs> as a housekeeper. I don't know whether she was a slave or not, but it was long before our family came around. And they had fires lit, so when the Brits were coming up the river to burn the factories down that were making all the brass uh, um, chains uh, that were put across the river at West Point to keep the Brits out of the, the Hudson River the, north of that, they used to light these fires and warn people that they were coming. Well, the fires got lit one night, and all the family, the white people that lived in the, in the, in the uh, building took off. And this poor gal that uh, was, I forgot her name, I got an article about it, she was making bread in the kitchen. And uh, when the Brits came in, they didn't shoot anybody because she bribed them with fresh bread. <laughs> so uh, that was fine, and it was finally sold to IBM and gone on and on and on. But I, so we've been around here for quite a while, a lot of history. I'm sure other people, the, the Dutch families that are around, my partner's family all 
Uh, ben Cunningham was also a trustee of the <laughs> Noon Foundation, uh, uh, was one of the old uh, Dutch families, the first. His middle name was Van Cleek, and there are a lot of Van Cleeks around, too. So. I uh, just wanted to really say one more thing. Okay. I, I was on the Cornell crew, and we, I was a, uh, I was on the cruise that l raced last here in 19, 1948 and 49. We had 13 crews lined up across that river from, from Washington and California and Wisconsin uh, and uh, California. And 19, eight, excuse me, 13 crews. It was magnificent. We had railroad trains going up down this, this side of the river with with bleachers on the sides of the of the of the of the uh, flat cars, and they sold tickets to raise money for the for the thing, and uh, we had a destroyer or two to come up to cheer Navy on. It was really an exciting event, and it had the dayliners, people with packed with people to come up from New York City, and and as a favor to. My friend Al Webster, who was a farmer in Clinton Corners, who went to Cornell with me, he was on those crews and, uh, and raced here. And uh, in memory of him, because he died rather unfortunately here a few years ago, he was, a, was, a, was the Commodore of the, of the Cornell crew in 1948. Another interesting thing was we we moved to to uh, to um, you gotta no you gotta, no <laughs> we gotta get out on the bridge We're oh you do yeah yeah I got it may fall down I know it okay. won't fall down thank you so much.